In the black seed, there is healing for every disease except death. Black seed oil is extracted from the seeds of Nigella sativa, which is also known as black cumin or kalonji. And this plant is native to Western Asia and Eastern Europe. It's been used for thousands of years in traditional medicine, especially in the Middle East. The first evidence of black cumin is found in several sites from ancient Egypt, including in the tomb of Tutankhamun. And modern research has started to validate a lot of these supposed health benefits of black seed. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Quick medical disclaimer, this video is not medical advice, it's for informational purposes only and you should always check with your doctor before making changes to your health regimen. First let's go over the compounds that we find within black seed oil. It's made up of a pretty unique composition of fatty acids and phytochemicals like plant chemicals. About 30 to 40 percent of the seed's weight is an oil which is rich in unsaturated fats. The main fats in cold pressed black seed oil include linoleic acid which is an omega-6 fatty acid that makes up about 55 to 60 percent of the oil and before you panic hearing about omega-6 fatty acids don't worry if you're eating a diet that's already pretty low in omega-6s this is definitely not gonna kill you black seed is an acceptable seed oil plus it's cold pressed so it's not oxidized by heating to high temperatures and that is the main concern with polyunsaturated fats there's also oleic acid which is a monounsaturated omega-9 fatty acid and that makes up about 20 to 30 percent of the oil and then you have smaller amounts of palmitic acid which is a saturated fat and some others. One teaspoon or like four or five milliliters of black seed oil contains about two and a half grams of linoleic acid and one gram of oleic acid. But the fats are easily the least interesting things about black seed oil. Much more interesting are the bioactive compounds and the main one being thymoquinone which is a very potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compound. And it's this thymoquinone that is thought to be responsible for many of the black seeds therapeutic benefits largely by neutralizing free radicals and reducing inflammation. There there are some other interesting compounds in black seed as well, like thymohydroquinone and dithymoquinone. These are chemical relatives of thymoquinone and they're also present in the oil in small quantities and they contribute to the antioxidant activity and historically they've been used for anti-asthmatic effects. There are alkaloids like nigelidine, nigelacine and others and these have analgesic or pain relieving effects and antibacterial activity. Also saponins like alpha hederin. these aren't found so much in the oil but are there in the extracts. Alpha hederin has shown anti-cancer and immune modulating potential, at least in preclinical studies, so not yet in actual humans. Volatile terpenes, uh, these are what give the black seed oil its very distinctive smell. Volatile oils like P-cymine, carvacrol and alpha-thugene. And the taste and the smell of black seed oil is really not good. First time I had it, I thought it was literally the worst thing I had ever tasted in my life up to that point. Maybe I was being a bit dramatic, but it's really not a pleasant taste. But I did get kind of used to it over time. So there are very small amounts of these volatile terpenes and they add to the antimicrobial and antioxidant effects of the black seed oil. Carvacrol, for example, is a known antimicrobial phenolic that is also found in oregano. The oil also contains some vitamins and antioxidants. Unrefined black seed oil contains tocopherols, which is a vitamin E, gamma tocopherol being the main form in black seed oil, and tocopherols are very powerful antioxidants. And there are even small amounts of vitamin A and vitamin C, but black Black seed oil is not going to be a, a good like major source of these, there's just not that much in them. Far better to rely on other foods to get vitamin A and C. And if you want to know the best, most bioavailable sources of vitamin A and C, as well as every other vitamin and mineral that your body needs, my ultimate nutrition guide is the perfect source for that. Link in the description. Phytosterols, also known as plant sterols, these can aid in cholesterol management. So things like beta cytosterol and stigma sterol can block cholesterol absorption in the gut, so they probably Probably contribute to black seed oil's cholesterol lowering effect. Most of you will probably know that cholesterol is not the complete boogeyman that it's been made out to be for decades and that the bigger problem really is oxidation of LDL cholesterol rather than cholesterol intake itself. But at least in cases where someone has like really dangerously high blood cholesterol, black seed could be useful. Although exercise, healthy diet, a good thyroid function, low stress and so on, these are always a higher priority for managing cholesterol. The oil also has phenolic acids and flavonoids like caffeic acid, quercetin and kempferol and these add to the antioxidant capacity. Black seed oil actually has quite a lot of polyphenols so about 315 milligrams gallic acid equivalent so it has more polyphenols than every common edible oil except high polyphenol olive oil. So overall in a typical serving like one or two teaspoons of black seed oil you'll get four to ten grams of oil, two to five grams of that being essential fatty acids and 20 to 50 grams of thymoquinone which is the main bioactive compound that we're 
interested in. And then smaller amounts of the other bioactives like terpenes and sterols and phenolics and stuff. And all of these work together synergistically to make black seed oil a pretty powerful substance. There are lots of studies that have been done on black seed oil's effects on health. And based on all of the papers that I've read in research in this video, it really does seem to be quite an impressive substance, as you'll see. It can help with many, many health problems. I'll try not to spend too long on this section, but there is a lot to go through. So let's start with the metabolic health, uh, like blood sugar and cholesterol. Some of the strongest evidence for black seed oil comes from its effects on metabolic conditions. So it can improve blood sugar control and blood lipids, especially in people with type 2 diabetes or metabolic syndrome. It lowers fasting blood glucose and reduces HbA1c, which is a measure of your average blood glucose level over the last two or three months. And those two are things that diabetics especially will be thinking about a lot. The improvements in blood sugar are most pronounced when you take it for over eight weeks and over one gram per day and in the oil form. So keep in mind that dosage. One gram per day is like one milliliter or so of oil, which is way less than one teaspoon. So even just one teaspoon of a good black seed oil could be enough to see some benefits. These blood sugar benefits could be explained by the fact that it can enhance the function of pancreatic beta cells, which are the cells in your pancreas that create insulin, and it can modulate enzymes involved in glucose metabolism. So for example, inhibiting the enzymes involved in gluconeogenesis, which is the generation of new glucose from things like lactate, glycerol, and amino acids. And the result of all of this is lower blood sugar. It also drops total blood cholesterol and LDL cholesterol without changing HDL cholesterol. So for people concerned about their blood cholesterol levels, this could be useful. And like I said earlier, this effect on cholesterol is probably caused by the phytosterols like beta cytosterol, inhibiting the absorption of cholesterol in the intestines. But again, don't worry, it's not going to tank your testosterone or something. And black seed oil, as we'll see later, might actually have positive effects on testosterone by protecting the testes from oxidative damage and inflammation. So alongside existing therapies for blood sugar and cholesterol control, black seed oil could be a nice little addition. Beyond just the improved glucose and lipid profile, black seed can lower blood pressure, especially in people with mild hypertension or high blood pressure. There are several mechanisms for this, but basically reduced calcium ion release, reduced oxidative stress, inhibition of angiotensin converting enzyme, and the collective result of all of these is to improve the function of the endothelium, which is the blood vessel walls, and uh, dilate the blood vessels, and that lowers blood pressure. Getting into the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects more broadly, these have been validated in both lab settings and clinical settings, so in real human people. Thymoquinone itself is a really potent antioxidant and suppressor of inflammatory pathways, so it can inhibit the production of pro-inflammatory mediators like prostaglandins, leukotrienes, uh, TNF-alpha, interleukin-1-beta, and NF-kappa-beta in various studies. This is pretty powerful stuff. And importantly, this isn't just like in the lab. This does translate into real benefits for inflammatory conditions. So for example, in patients with rheumatoid arthritis, which is an inflammatory condition, adding two 50 milligram capsules of black seed oil per day for a month significantly reduces disease activity compared to placebo. You have lower disease activity scores, improvements in swollen joints and morning stiffness. The black seed components can essentially calm the overactive immune cells and lower systemic inflammation. Black seed supplementation has been shown in some studies to decrease inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein and oxidative stress markers like malondialdehyde while boosting total antioxidant capacity in the blood. And this antioxidant effect is really important. By neutralizing reactive oxygen species and upregulating antioxidant enzymes, it protects cells from oxidative damage. And this reduction in oxidative damage has a really widespread kind of ripple effect. For example, uh, I mentioned earlier, if you reduce oxidative stress in the vascular endothelium, that will improve the endothelial function, which leads to a drop in blood pressure and better blood flow. And then you could see how this could be extrapolated to other problems associated with blood flow, like erectile dysfunction, for example. There are no studies on that yet, but there is a decent mechanistic basis to make that hypothesis. And the vascular tissue is just one of the areas where black seed oil reduces oxidative stress. It does this basically everywhere. So black seed oil can be useful for arthritis, asthma, neuroinflammatory states, essentially other inflammatory conditions like inflammatory bowel disease. Although obviously we need more research in human subjects for each of these diseases so it can help those inflammatory conditions and it can lower oxidative stress which has benefits basically everywhere. Black seed also has antihistamine and bronchodilatory effects which make it quite useful for treating asthma and allergies. Studies have shown that it improves asthma control which basically means that the asthma symptoms are just more manageable and it lowers blood eosinophils which are a marker of air 
airway inflammation. There's even a meta-analysis which concluded that black seed supplementation was good for managing asthma. So if you're someone with asthma, maybe give this a chance. Certainly it's not a replacement for an inhaler or antihistamines though, so please don't take it as me saying that. But it could just be a useful thing to add uh, to your regimen if you have asthma. And it's good for seasonal allergies or hay fever as we call it in England. The medical name being allergic rhinitis. So you have fewer symptoms like sneezing, blocked nose and itchy nose when you're taking black seed oil regularly. So it might be worth trying if you have asthma or seasonal allergies. Black seed oil also has antibacterial, antifungal and antiviral effects. So for your immune system protecting you against pathogens, this could be a good thing to try. One study combined uh, six grams a day of ground black seeds with 12 grams a day of honey. And this combination is also called docin. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this has been shown in humans to eradicate H. pylori infection. And that is a gut microbe. So that's pretty impressive stuff. Sticking with the gut in rats, black seed oil can improve counts of lactobacillus, which is a good gut bacterium, and it reduces levels of pathogenic species of bacteria. It also restores expression of mucin 2, which is a protein that is really important for protecting the gut lining. So if you have a compromised gut lining, black seed oil could help with restoring that. And it has an antipeptic ulcer effect in rats. So some good gut health benefits. Black seed oil and thymoquinone can be good for oral health as well. They have anti-plaque activity, so that helps to prevent cavities and periodontal diseases and have been shown to be as good or even better than regularly used antibiotics like amoxicillin or tetracycline. Black seed has also been used as a fertility tonic in traditional medicine and the studies are starting to support this use. So in a study on infertile men, five milliliters daily of black seed oil for two months improved sperm count, sperm motility, sperm morphology and semen volume with no adverse effects. So that's pretty promising. And there was a systematic review investigating the effects of black seed on infertility in both humans and animals. Testosterone was increased in every animal study that was included. Sperm parameters were improved in basically every animal and human study included. Black seed also sometimes affects LH, uh, luteinizing hormone, but not in every study. So this suggests to me that it's probably acting directly on the testes, reducing testicular oxidative stress and inflammation. And some of the studies in this systematic review found exactly that. That was the mechanism that they discovered. And it might also be acting in the brain to enhance luteinizing hormone production, but that's not quite as clear. There are loads more benefits to go through, but I've already spent ages talking about it. So I'll go through these kind of quickly. Um, Anti-cancer properties. So it activates cell death in tumors and it inhibits cell proliferation. Certainly I'm not suggesting this is going to cure cancer though, but maybe a useful, you know, adjunct. It protects against heavy metal toxicity. There are some studies suggesting it could be good for the brain and cognitive performance, like protecting against the loss of hippocampal neurons in Alzheimer's disease models or enhancing memory, cognition, and attention. It can even improve your sleep. One study found that supplementing with black seed led to an increase in total sleep time, sleep efficiency. It took less time to fall asleep and you had an 82% increase in non-REM stage three sleep, which is deep, slow wave sleep, and a 29% increase in uh, rapid eye movement sleep or the dreaming phase. And then in the same study, it even reduced anxiety and stress and cortisol. And also in another study uh, found that it reduced depression and increased brain-derived neurotrophic factors. So potentially some mental health benefits. And then lastly, it is sometimes applied topically for skin conditions. So there was a meta-analysis that found it was potentially effective in dermatitis, eczema, warts, keratosis, psoriasis, vitiligo, and acne. And this might be due to like the vitamin E, uh, the antioxidants promoting healing, and then some antimicrobial agents fighting skin infections. So there are loads of benefits to black seed oil. Maybe I've convinced you to try it. So uh, what kind of form and dosage and timing should you use? It's not particularly complicated. Uh, the most common form is the oil taken orally, somewhere around one or two teaspoons per day, or five to 10 milliliters is plenty. Most of the studies that I've discussed use about two or three grams of the seed powder or like five milliliters of oil per day. And you can easily get that from just one teaspoon. Like I said towards the start of the video, one or two teaspoons will give you 20 to 50 milligrams of thymoquinone. And that is plenty. Just one teaspoon a day is probably going to be good enough for most people. You should be aware that it really doesn't taste nice at all though. You can also take capsules, which tend to be 500 or 1000 milligrams of black seed oil. So 0.5 grams or one gram. These are an option if you really can't stand the taste of the oil. And it also allows for a bit more standardized dosing because you know exactly how much you're getting in each capsule. You can also eat the whole seeds, which provide 
besides fiber and some other water soluble components like saponins and alkaloids but if you're looking for thymoquinone content which is the main reason that people take black seed the oil has much more of that than the whole seeds black seed honey is also an option i mentioned a study that used the combination of black seed and honey to eradicate h pylori infections it is pretty expensive but if you have the money for that and you're really a black seed enthusiast then that is something that you could try out you can use the oil topically as i said um, recently a few drops like massaged into the skin or the hair you can even get floss that is infused with black seed oil for your oral health so get it up between your teeth and into your gums and stuff but the main form is the black seed oil taken orally one or two teaspoons per day quality definitely matters you want to get cold pressed unrefined oil in dark glass bottles uh, this will preserve the bioactive compounds and prevent oxidation if the bottle isn't dark then light can cause the oil to oxidize and that is not all we want the oil should be a kind of golden brown to amber color and have a very distinctive spicy smell some good brands are 100 naturals which is the brand founded by a very very smart guy called grimhood who's quite popular on health twitter amazing herbs is another good brand i'll briefly touch on safety black seed oil is considered very safe like very few bad side effects one safety study suggested that adults could probably handle up to like 50 milligrams of thymoquinone every day which is like 10 milliliters or two teaspoons of oil without toxicity and it's not recommended to go over that some people can get some mild side effects mainly some like gut discomfort nausea or soft stools if you do have a sensitive gut black seed oil can irritate it taking the oil with food does help to minimize gut discomfort but if you have like a severely damaged gut lining maybe best to avoid until your gut lining has been repaired through other protocols topically black seed oil is well tolerated but in rare cases it can cause like a rash or an allergic reaction so best to do a little spot test before you start covering yourself with it it does lower blood sugar and blood pressure as i said way earlier so if you're already on like blood sugaring medication or uh, blood pressure lowering you know anti-hypertensive drugs you should be careful and also if you have naturally quite low blood pressure like i do and lastly pregnant women are advised to avoid large doses of black seed oil it's better to just be safe if you're pregnant don't take black seed oil or at least not big doses so black seed oil is a pretty impressive little substance it's got lots of bioactive components a lot of really compelling benefits i wouldn't call it a cure-all it is not magical but it's probably one of the better supplements to have in your lineup really solid antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects basically no downsides just be sensible with the dose and get a good quality black seed oil i would like to see more research on its potential as a testosterone boosting supplement because that is something that we are interested in on this channel and uh, most other herbal supplements are just not very good for boosting testosterone despite what many people will claim let me know if you try black seed oil the taste is pretty bad so do be prepared for that and tell me if you've had any experience with black seed oil already all right thank you for watching and i'll see you next time